On this channel, we've talked about wealth time and time again, and we've talked about a mindset. What wealth is, is a mindset. And I'm gonna tell you something about Bill Gates. When he was asked, I think by a reporter last year, if his daughter would marry someone poor, if her, his daughter would have a poor husband, Bill Gates is probably the uh, third or fourth, one of the richest persons of all time, right? His response will be very valuable to you. And I'm gonna read his whole response in this video. This whole video is basically gonna be his response. It's shocking what he said. And basically he said, no, I'm not gonna let her marry a poor man. But when you actually read the logic behind it, you'll understand exactly what he means. If you're one of those people that he's talking about, the poor person, you're probably that person who blames everybody, the society for everything you don't have. You probably think you deserve all the money in the world, even though you don't put all the effort that is needed. But if you are the rich person, the wealthy person that Bill Gates is talking about, you will understand exactly how he relates to you because a wealthy mindset is a mindset. It doesn't matter how much money you have in your bank account. It is the attitude, the attitude where you feel like you deserve money only if you work hard enough and you really feel you deserve it because you have that mindset and you trust that the universe will provide it to you. Now listen to this story. It will relate to you one way or the other. Either you're gonna have the realization that you're the rich person or the really poor person. So what did Bill Gates really say when this question was asked to him? He said, and I quote, first, understand that wealth does not mean having a well-filled bank account. Wealth is primarily the ability to create wealth. Example, someone who wins the lottery or gambling. Even winning 100 million is not a rich man. He's a poor man with a lot of money. That's why 90% of lottery millionaires go back to being poor after five years. You also have rich people who can't afford it. For example, most entrepreneurs. They are already in the way of wealth, even if they don't have money, because they're developing their financial intelligence and that's wealth. How are rich and poor different? To be simple, the rich can die to become rich, while the poor can kill to stay. If you see a young man who decides to graduate, learn new things, trying to improve continually, know that he is a rich man. If you see a young man who thinks the problem is the state and thinks the rich are all thieves and constantly criticize, know that he is a poor man. The rich are convinced that they only need information and training to take off. The poor think others should give the money for them to take off. In conclusion, when I say my daughter is not going to marry a poor man, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about this man's ability to create wealth. Sorry for what I'm going to say, but most criminals are poor people. When they are in front of money, they lose their minds, and that's why they steal, rob, etc. To them, that's grace because they don't know how they themselves could make money. One day, a bank vigilante found a bag full of money, took the bag, and went to deliver it to the bank manager. People called this gentleman an idiot because, but actually, this gentleman was just a rich man who had no money. One year later, the bank offered him a receptionist position. Three years later, he was in charge of clients and 10 years later, he manages the regional branch of that bank. He manages hundreds of employees and their annual bonuses are beyond the value he could have stolen. Wealth is first a state of mind, my friend." Unquote. And that's pretty much it. I really don't have anything much to say on top of that. I can't top that. If you didn't understand what Bill Gates said, just rewind this video and figure it out. Rewind it again and again. Maybe play this every time in the morning and you will understand exactly what kind of mindset the rich have. It is not the amount of money that is in your bank account that makes you rich. It is the mind that you have that determines if you are a wealthy person or not. I hope you learned something interesting, guys. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. 
Talk to you soon.